This is something that I really didn't know existed with Windows 10. Well, it's nothing new that when new versions of Windows come out, I don't think they market it that well to give you all the sort of exciting features. And I'm a Windows guy. I mean, since uh, before, um, you know, Windows arrived, it was all the DOS versions and everything. So I kind of grew up with Windows around. And for me to only find this out now in 2020, uh, maybe because it's only related to Windows 10 per se, but it's one of those features. Now, I know there's tons of other features that are hidden that we really don't know, but this one is quite exciting because it's a screen recording feature. I use Camtasia, which I'm using to record now. I use OBS Studio, which is an open source platform to do streaming and also to do screen recording. And if you're on a Mac or a Linux, you can also use OBS. So that, that's an excellent tool to use. So what is this hidden treasure that I discovered? Well, it's Windows 10. Um, now, here's the challenge because I'm busy screen recording this with Camtasia and I found it in my previous recording that when I call up this menu, it doesn't appear in the recording. So I'll have to walk you through it and you've just got to trust me that it is on the screen and is visually um, represented here. But to get it, you're going to press the Alt key on your keyboard and press G for gaming mode. Okay, um, maybe at this stage, hopefully you can see it, but uh, I'll literally just say on the top left here, it's little dialog boxes that pop out. There's the capture area that's got for stills. You can also click record your screen and it can backtrack 30 seconds to when you click your record. It can pick up 30 seconds back and then your normal record, which is the one that I'm going to cover now and your ability to uh, either turn your mic off or on. Uh, during the recording. So I think these these labels tend to pop up. I, you can see it. That says recording. This says record last 30 seconds and that says screen capture. Below here is all your audio settings for where your inputs are going to be and at the bottom here is CPU settings etc. There's another little dialog box on top here that's got a few other settings. But pretty much you leave it at its default. It will be functioning effectively. So I click off it and then it will disappear. If you don't see it there, you're going to just trust me, it is there now. Okay, then the shortcut key to do the screen recording is you don't have to open the Windows G and then, you know, click the record button. You can do another shortcut key, which is the Windows Alt and R. So you go down the Windows button, the Alt button and R. Here in the top right corner, there's a black bar that comes out here, a little red dot and it starts uh, recording. There's also a little blue dot for you to stop and a mic next to it. So while you're recording, you can switch mic on and off if you choose to. So it's busy recording now and I'll show you the recording when we're done. So this you will be able to see here now. Okay, if I click on here for that little 40, 50 seconds snippet, it is 54 megs. So it is probably quite a high quality. If I go to the properties, uh, we're going to look at details. Here you can see it's pretty much HD. Um, Frame width and height, you know, 1920 by 1080 is probably a few pixels off, but that's probably my selection. It's about 9,000 kilobits per second, the data rate, which is pretty decent. And then 29 frames, and sometimes it shows 30 frames. The bit rate for audio, I'd, I'd have loved it to be a little bit higher, maybe, you know, 192 or something, but I'm sure this would be sufficient. Um, yeah, so those are the settings, and then we can just double click on this and open it up. Now I've muted. Oh no, it's not muted. You can probably hear it there. The volume's quite soft. But there's the recording. Uh, excellent. And you have your quality recording. So this is like a really fantastic feature because most of the time I don't want to jump to Camtasia and start recording in Camtasia. And you know, then if I take it back into Camtasia, I've got to then take it in its native format and then convert it to MP4. This is recorded straight into MP4. Okay, so if I close this here, you can see it's an MP4. So if I want to do a screen recording, MP4, if I want to move it into Vegas and maybe go edit there, I can take it immediately. Whereas if I record it with Camtasia or even with that uh, online web uh, interfaces, then you've got to get it in WebM and you know other formats and you do conversions. So that's what's a great feature about this, this Windows 10 tool. So if you're on Windows 10, it's the way to go for 
quick screen recording and you're getting decent quality for that also so it will be the windows button keep it down keep the alt down and press r to record so hopefully that gets you excited and gets you another tool under your belt have a fantastic day and god bless